drama-drama yata. Ito po ang problema niya. He's stressed siya. O di kaya mataas ang temperature? O di kaya ay mababa? O di kaya ay low ang oxygen level? Now, para po mabawasan ang ating cost of feeds, meron po ako na, na, na minsang maganda rin yung nagtatry. Ako po kasi nagtry ng bamboo raft kasi sabi nga noong mga Aztecs ay eh, pinapatong-patong lang daw nila raft eh. So, I tried bamboo raft at napansin ko na yung bamboo raft po ay nagkakaroon ng lumot na ganito. Nung research ko po yung sabi nila ang tawag daw nila dyan ay perifites or perifiton. So, kaya po nung kinuha ko, binigay ko yan doon sa kanila nung aagor yung aking mga tilapla. So, kailangan pala ng kawayan para makapag-generate ako ng pagkain. At nag-alaga rin po ako ng mga maliliit na kuhol. Kuhol din po yung malaking kuhol. Actually, kinukuha ko yung namunguha ko nilalagay ko. Dinudurog ko at kainin ngayon ng aking mga tilapla. Yung kuhol na problema sa bukit? Hindi ba na problema sa bukit kaya? Pwede nang ilagay nyo dyan. Source of protein. Sinasabi ko po sa inyo kanina na ang gobyerno po natin ngayon is spending a lot of money for research just to improve our systems. We have this project funded by PICARD. They are monitoring this. And actually, this is uh, in Central Zone State University. And kami po ay gagawin po namin itong sistema para maging center para kung sino man ang interesado entertain din po namin at ipakikita namin kung anong ginagawa namin doon. Pero po kami mga greenhouses doon at kung saan ang gagawin po namin mag-grow kami ng different vegetables dito. Gag may mga setup din po kami ng aquaponics doon. So, here we are honing tomorrow's agriculture. Meron pong isang tao na ang pangalan ay Dr. Dixon Dipomier. At ang sabi po niya, kailangan daw po mag-create ng isang sustainable source of food in skyscrapers in the near future. Because wala na raw po tayong mga space, wala na rin tayong tubig, kaya we have to harvest water from the air and we have to recycle the water in skyscrapers na dati natin mga condominium at mga tao lang nakatira doon. We will, we will build skyscrapers solely for the production of food. Probably, Mall of Asia is somewhere here. And they will create a skyscraper similar to this so that they can transport the production in several areas of Metro Manila and probably in the Philippines. Or probably somewhere there in Pasay, in Makati, or Quezon City, we will grow food like this in skyscrapers. This is in the near future. There are many books that was written by Dr. Dixon de Pomier about this. And some investors are actually buying this one in, 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 in the U.S. Ako po kayo magtataka na yung ating mga anak ay ganito na ang madadat na. Pusili po ngayon, nag-uumpisa na. At sana makita pa natin kung ano ang kanyihilap na itong sinasabi ni Dr. Dixon de Pomier of the University of Columbia in the U.S. Ganito raw po magiging itsura ng ating so pag tumaraw ka sa condominium ninyo, makikita ninyo, ah doon pala pwede kami bumili ng vegetables ko. Or probably sa ilalim ng inyong condominium naroon na mismo ang production systems, naroon na lahat. Hindi ka nalilipat from condominium to condominium because you are a sustainable skyscraper. At higit po sa lahat, pag pumalpak pa rin ito, we still have another chance. And we are going to build a spacecraft called the Lunar and the Martian Greenhouse. People in the University of Arizona have perfected this uh, uh, technology. At ang sabi po nila, NASA, we are prepared. We have the design. We only want you to launch a spacecraft to the moon or probably to Mars, which will collapse itself and become a productive greenhouse. And there you are going to call us and order from us letters and 
probably tomato. Hey, you people up there, can you, can we put order here in Mall of Asia, probably 10 tons of uh, uh, cherry tomato and 10 tons of uh, 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 green uh, lettuce. Sound funny, but these are technology that are now available. Pag sumablay tayo dito sa lupa, meron pa rin tayong pag-asa sa kalawakan. In conclusion, let us admit that we can no longer live by hunting animals and gathering fruits just like what our forefathers did before. Hindi na po uubra na yun yun. Deliberately, we have to produce our own food. Now, we have to produce food in our backyard para empowered tayo. Just remember, just remember that health is wealth. Sino pong kukontra doon? Sino ang kukontra na health is wealth? You have the wealth. But you do not have the health, taroon ka lang sa hospital. I have the health. I still, I don't have this, but I can roam around and enjoy the world. So ang sabi po, healthy children makes a happy family. A healthy family makes a happy community. And a healthy community makes a happy nation. Kaya po pagka ganito ang sinabi natin, matutuwa po sa ating si Vice Ganda. Kasi tayo pala ay pwedeng mabuhay ng happy without ending. Sabi po yan ni Vice Ganda. Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Bago po tayo mag-question uh, and answer, maraming